Hi everyone, welcome back to JPWHU TV. My name is John, your host as always. I hope you're all doing well and have calmed down a little bit now after that ridiculous showing up at Goodison where it finished Everton, Everton 2, West Ham 0. This video is sponsored by the live stream sponsor, CyberGhost VPN. Please click the link in the description below for exclusive JPWHU TV package with them. It's a very, very good VPN deal. Uh, 18 months at basically £2.15 a month. It was £38 something for 18 months. Very, very good package. You can you can cover up to seven devices. You can cover your smartphone. You can cover your smart TV. You can cover your laptop. You can cover your tablet. Whatever you've got, it's it's all there. It's brilliant. Fire stick, you name it. It's it, there's, there's stuff that you can cover it. It's, as I say, for £2.15 a month, it's a no-brainer. So, guys, make your, make your purchase. Uh, talking of purchases as well, there is a new shop for JPWHU TV. Um, the link is in the description below. The T Mill one is still available, but it's going to be taken down very, very soon um, because this is much these these the, this deal is much better with Spreadshirt. It's the website as I say is down below, but it's www.shop.spreadshirt dot com sorry um dot co dot uk backstroke jp whu tv and and for the next 14 th sorry 13 days so basically the first of november there is a 15 percent off redeemable code in there as well so guys if you like the shirts there's not just t-shirts in there it's there there's only one design in there at the moment which is literally just the the channel logo but um, that there's not just t-shirts, there's and sweatshirts and hoodies and exactly you know a lot of the stuff that we had on there. There's a lot more available for you for you guys now. There's there's more bags. There's baseball caps. There's phone. There's uh, there's a iPod, uh, iPhone and Samsung f phone case. There's just, there's loads. There's baby gear and there's loads and loads of stuff in there. So guys. Put on your click your link in the description below, and you'll be able to that you'll be able to purchase some very very nice stuff. So as always, guys, let's start off with the team sheet. So in goal, as always, was Roberto. There's one change to the back four with Creswell coming out and Masuaka coming in at left back, with Fredericks, Ogbonna, and Diop making up the other the other three. Rice and Noble in mid, uh, the holding midfield positions. Um, Yarmolenko was dropped to the bench and Fornells came on in his place with Lanzini and Anderson making up the attacking midfield with Allaire up front. On the bench was Martin, Balbuena, Zabaleta, Yarmolenko, as I said, Snodgrass, Wilshire, and Ayeti. Now, not exactly the best of performances from West Ham, shall we say, at all, throughout the entire 90 minutes. Everton... Very well played. Very, very well played from the from the Everton boys. I thought they were very impressive considering the bad start they've had to the season. But then again, West Ham rock up and we give them the West Ham way, don't we? We give them the three points. Practically gave it to them, especially for Bernard's goal in the first half on the 17th minute. You could see it coming. You could really, really see it coming. Uh, for those that watch the Facebook and Periscope live uh, uh, broadcast apologies guys for the quality of the internet um, I don't know why it was p being the way that it was but it was I'm going to try and get that sorted out so everything's alright for the next live broadcast uh, which is going to be on Tuesday night of course for the because it's the it's going to be the JPWHU TV goal week 9 fantasy league table roundup so keep an eye out for that but as I said guys the the performance match the internet connection it was inconsistent unstable and downright unbearable at times if i'm completely honest with you the first half stats showed that everton had 68 percent possession i think that's a little bit generous if i'm completely honest um in the terms because that they 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 had the ball for i'd say about 90 percent of the first half we only had one shot on target which I think was for Nell's attempt, if I remember correctly. Um, just, just not good enough. Paul Tierney was a poor, poor referee for him, for uh, for the game itself. Gave them everything. Andre Gomez made so many fouls in the first half. It was unbelievable that he was able to get away with that time and time again. He only got booked on the 89th minute. He was fouling all the time. Anderson was poor. I hate to say it, but he was absolutely poor. He was substituted um, 
at half time but um by Yarmolenko um it was so bad that Yarmolenko was warming up before the first half had finished that's how bad Anderson was it was just it was poor to say the least Ogbonna and Diop did okay in the first half the goal itself could have been could have been dealt with very very easily it's an individual error not um not just from Roberto bearing in mind that it bounced under him um as he's on the floor but the build up to the goal was well very well taken from Everton's point of view don't get me wrong very very well taken very impressed with it uh, you know there's there's nothing there's nothing to actually I'm not taking anything away from Everton at all really not taking anything away from them they played spectacularly well their tails were up right from the start but as I said for the first half we were poor absolutely poor we, we didn't even seem bothered about the game Allaire was jogging about because he wasn't getting much service up to him the stuff that he did do I thought he did very very well he played very you know he could hold up held up the ball well was it was interfering with play quite a fair bit but nobody was challenging enough the spacing was poor I've said it time and time again over the last couple of seasons we have been shocking at our spacing absolutely shocking and again, it's all borne out. It's borne out completely, and it's a real shame. It's an absolute shame because we could have we could have had this. I say the first goal, first goal by Bernard could have been easily saved by the goalkeeper. Don't get me wrong, Roberto made some good saves in the in the um, in during during the game. The second goal, which I'll come on to when I talk about the second half, um, nothing you could do about it at all. Absolutely nothing you could do about it. So assessment of the first half, player by player. Roberto, with the exception of the goal, um, didn't really have that much to do. But when he, he but he did make some good saves. Made some good saves. Uh, Fredericks, I thought played well. Ogbonna and Diop, as I said, I thought I played okay. Um, not brilliant, but I played okay. Uh, Masuaku, I thought had did well in in the second half. Did um, he wasn't being when he was doing the that's uh, why the first half when he was doing um, the throw-ins. Wasn't getting a lot of options. That's not Masawaka's fault, which is one of the reasons why that that um those weren't those weren't being pulled off properly, and that's not his fault in any shape or form. So I don't want to see anybody criticising him for it. Noble and Rice, I thought did okay. Rice was pretty much in, in invisible for a lot of that first half. Noble was trying to get the temp, get some stuff going, but it just wasn't working. Um, Anson, as I said, was just it was just he tried, he tried, but his confidence isn't there. He needs to be taking players on better. He needs to he needs to run at goal properly. He was jittering about a fair bit. Lanzini, I thought, was invisible for a lot of the first and second half. Uh, yet he um sorry. For Nels, um, I just don't think it's good enough. I've tried. I really, really. I know we're only nine games in before anybody says it, and we've got twenty nine games more to go. But I just I can't see him fitting into this side. I really, really can't. He's, he tries his best, bless him, and I love him for that. I really, really do. But I just can't see him playing in the Premier League on a frequent basis. I really, really can't, if at all. And that, that, that pains me because we paid a lot of money for this kid. A lot of money. Um, and as I say, with Allaire, as I said, I thought he did okay with what he was what he was able to get and what he created. Um, just lacked options and... A bit of firepower behind him. So as I say, on the first, um, at, this, um, at a half-time break, we're one 0 down. Bernard's goal, very, very well taken from Everton's point of view. Very good goal. We would have loved to have had that scored against them. We would have scored that, and if we'd have scored that, we would have been ruptured, rapturous, uh, rapturous, I should say, to say the least. But that's the way football goes sometimes. So as I say, Anderson was taken off and Yarmolenko came on in the second half. And I thought Yarmolenko was okay. He looked a bit fatigued in certain ways. Um, but, yeah. It was. And then, you know, as I say, we were able to... We tried a few times. The, the possession in the se um, overall in the stats was saying that it was... Uh, what was it? 52% possession to Everton. I think that's been generous to us, if I'm honest. I don't think we had the ball that much yet again. But as I said... Um, very very good play from Everton. They did some very a lot of fouls, a lot of dives. Tierney bought it all, bought every single one of them, causing Rice to be booked and Diop to be book, booked. Um, Davis was rightly booked as well. Poor challenge, um, poor poor challenge from him. Um, now the interesting thing is, is about the seventy odd, seventy fifth, 
maybe a little bit earlier than that. Uh, goal by, um, a time by Mina. Had a goal ruled out. I'm not sure why, to be honest with you. As I said, as I, said I couldn't really listen to the game, uh, you know, because I was streaming it live. Um, and we know what happened when I did that this time. Um, when I did that on Monday night, or sorry, Saturday night. So this time last last week. Um, but you know, as I said, I can't see anything wrong with that goal. I really don't see anything wrong with that goal. There's a, there's there's a foul from Diop on him. Um, where he pulls his shirt. There's a little hustle and bustle with the players in front of him. But there's there's nothing wrong with that goal. There really isn't anything wrong with that goal. Um, so we could have been three 0 down. We could have been, and we're very, very fortunate not to have that goal um, being awarded. Um, but Sigurdsson's goal on the 90th minute and sorry, 92nd and 40 seconds, I think it was 92, 92 minutes and 40 odd seconds. What a screamer! Exactly what Sigurdsson used to be able to do, and what he was, what he's famous for when he, at his time at Swansea. Beautifully taken kick right to the top right hand corner or left hand corner depending on your point of view um, but as far as um, as far as Roberto is concerned up into his bot top right hand corner very very good goal and it's just nothing anyone could have done about it it's a statement of intent by him now you know so but as I say at the same point um, you know, uh, Fornells came off and Wilshire came on in the 63rd minute, and Noble came off and Ayeti came on in the 73rd, uh, 74th minute, I should say. Uh, when Noble came off, I said, That's it, the game's gone. Because Noble was the only one that was, and, and Rice, both of them grew into the game a lot more in the second half. Uh, Rice, uh, Rice was still giving away the ball a few times, but it wasn't really giving away the ball, the ball because Everton were on it 100%. We were. 50 maybe 60 percent on the game and that's why we, that's why we lost it and but i say fair play to fair play to everton could have been a little bit better if um paul tierney was a bit more balanced but fair play to him fair play to him and as a result we are currently 10th as it stands now as i'm recording this uh, with a minus two goal difference and as you know, it's just jump. We've jumped back up to not to eighth. <laughs> literally, just as I'm, literally as I'm as I'm doing it now. Um, so that's obviously there's there's been some changes in the in the games that are going on at the moment. But yeah, so we're eighth in the table after nine games with a minus two goal difference and twelve points. I'm still happy with that in the bigger picture. I'm not happy with the performance in any shape or form for two games in a row now. We've lost and we've we. I don't want to say we we deserve to lose. The Palace game because we didn't, but we did at the same point. If that makes any sense, you know, we didn't because we there were there wasn't. There was, sorry, we did deserve to lose it because there was a lot of errors out there and a lot of mistakes being made. But we didn't deserve it because we we sh if we were playing properly, we we could have had anything. But that's the way it is, and it's the same thing today. Exactly the same thing today. So thank you very much for your time, guys. If you're new around here, welcome. It's nice to see you. If you'd like to, um, if um, if you'd like what I'm doing and also want to hear from me again, then by all means, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification. Well, the animations here and hit the notification bell. The subscribe button's obviously down there. Um, if you like the video and you feel I deserve it, then by all means, please click the like button. And also, as always, guys, put your comments in the comment section. For, um, let me know let me know your thoughts on it darren higgins good mate of mine who was watching on the facebook live stream asked me for my man of the match i can't give one at all i really can't i don't think anyone played well enough especially frog bonner um turning his back well that fantastic strike was done by sigurdsson it, that's just there's no need for it i, I said it before and i'll say it again because he did it i think it was cardiff at the end of the last season or whoever it was, it was just you just can't do it. You can't. You're a defender. Don't turn your back. But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, if you like the video and you feel other people may want to watch this, then by all means, please share it as well. Guys, as I said, there is a link in the description below to the sponsor Cyber um, CyberGhost VPN. Very very good um, VPN deal from that those guys. And also, there's the link to the new shop as well. So thank you very much for your time and. Try and enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will hopefully try and see you on Tuesday night for those that are doing the Fantasy League team roundup. Um, so guys, thank you very much for your time. Take, take care of yourselves and I will see you Tuesday night.